Hey everyone, today we're diving into a wild theory that's been floating around for decades. What if I told you that some people believe aliens are behind the stories in the Bible? Yep, you heard that right. Let's break it down. So there's this idea out there that extraterrestrials, you know, beings from other planets, might have played a big role in human history. And not just any history, but the events described in religious texts, especially the Bible. It's a pretty out there concept, but stick with me. First off, let's talk about the creation of humanity. We all know the story. God created Adam and Eve, right? Well, some conspiracy theorists have a different take. They suggest that when the Bible talks about God creating humans, it might actually be describing aliens genetically engineering our species. Think about it. The Bible says we were made in God's image. What if that God was actually an advanced alien race? These theorists argue that our rapid development as a species could be explained by alien intervention. They tweaked our genes, gave us a boost, and boom, here we are. Now let's move on to the miracles in the Bible. Jesus walking on water, turning water into wine, healing the sick. These are cornerstone stories of Christianity. But some people think these weren't divine miracles at all. Instead, they believe these could have been demonstrations of advanced alien technology. Imagine if you showed a smartphone to someone from the Middle Ages. They'd think it was magic, right? The same idea applies here. If aliens with super advanced tech showed up 2,000 years ago, their abilities might have seemed like miracles to the people of that time. Let's take the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 with just a few loaves and fish. Sounds impossible, right? But what if it was some kind of alien food replication technology? Or the resurrection? Could it have been an advanced form of alien medical intervention or even a hologram? These theories don't stop with Jesus, though. They extend to other biblical events, too. Remember the story of Moses parting the Red Sea? Some theorists suggest this could have been aliens using advanced weather control technology. The burning bush that spoke to Moses? Maybe it was a holographic communication device. Even the famous pillar of fire that guided the Israelites through the desert gets the alien treatment in these theories. Some say it might have been the exhaust from a spaceship leading the people to their destination. Now let's talk about angels. In the Bible, they're often described as coming down from the heavens in bright lights. Sound familiar? To some theorists, this sounds an awful lot like how we might describe UFOs today. They argue that what people in biblical times called angels might actually have been extraterrestrial visitors. The prophet Ezekiel's vision of a wheel within a wheel in the sky is a favorite among ancient astronaut theorists. They say this complex description could easily be interpreted as a spacecraft of some kind. But it's not just the events in the Bible that get the alien treatment. Some theorists go as far as to suggest that the concept of God itself might be based on extraterrestrial visitors. They argue that ancient humans, unable to understand the advanced technology of these beings, simply called them gods. Now I know what you're thinking. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. And you're right, it does. There's no solid evidence to back up any of these claims. It's all speculation based on reinterpreting ancient texts through a modern sci-fi lens. So why do people believe this stuff? Well, for some, it's a way to reconcile religious beliefs with a scientific worldview. For others, it's just fun to imagine. And let's face it, the idea that aliens have been guiding human history is pretty exciting. But here's the thing. These theories often ignore the cultural and historical context of the Bible. They take stories that were written thousands of years ago and try to fit them into our modern understanding of technology and the universe. It's a bit like trying to force a square peg into a round hole. Plus, if aliens really were behind all these events, why would they be so secretive about it? Why not just show up and say, Hey Earth, we're here to help. At the end of the day, these theories are just that. Theories. They're not accepted by mainstream scientists, historians, or religious scholars. But they do show how creative people can be when trying to explain the unexplainable. So, what do you think? Are these theories just wild imagination? Or could there be something to them? It's fun to think about, but remember... Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Whether you believe in God, aliens, or neither, one thing's for sure. The stories in the Bible have had a huge impact on human history, and they'll probably keep sparking our imagination for years to come, whether we think they're divine inspiration or alien intervention. That's all for today, folks. Keep questioning, keep thinking, and who knows? Maybe one day we'll find out the truth, whatever it might be.